welcome back to my channel it's been a while since i haven't made any new videos just so you know i am back to kl malaysia for further life plan so i needed a few months to settle things down this raining scene was actually recorded in my hometown back in vietnam such a calm intro huh okay back to today's video it's another episode of me doing outfit makeover i have a velvet gray dress with little fish tail band in the bottom part the size is way too big for me and i also don't fancy this style that much so i'm gonna change it let's get started first of all i mark on the dress the suitable shape i want my purpose is to make it a bodycon with elastic band on both sides. This material is stretchy, so no worry if you do it a bit tight or loose, since it still can fit you anyway. Let's start the sewing machine. Wow, such a long time no sewing, huh? How is your quarantine going? Pretty chaotic right now all over the world, right? For this one, use the normal seam. Sew it along the market line. Next, you might want to cut out the extra fabric after sewing because they might irritate your skin later while wearing it. Now I measure the elastic band for both sides. Initially, I just want to seal the elastic halfway of the dress length, but it didn't look that nice, so I changed my mind and seal the elastic all the way along the bodycon hip side. Because of the quarantine, so I could not go out to buy a smaller elastic band, so this might be a note for you, okay? Use the small elastic band. Don't use this big one as mine. Sew in the elastic. Using another sewing line, I choose E in my sewing machine. I suggest you not using straight seam because it cannot hold the elastic band that strong compared to other zigzag seams. The dress length is 65 cm, so for each size, the elastic band might be around 35 to 40 cm depending on how short you want your bodycon to be. Mine is 37 cm for the elastic band length. Be careful while sewing the elastic, okay? So this is how the seam turns out. It's quite fine though. At first, I still want to keep the bottom as the original design. However, it did not complement the highlight of the dress which is the elastic effect. So I decided to remove it. And it does look nicer in the end. Jamie! Now comes to the final step, hem the bottom part of the dress and I am finished. Let's see the final transformation. draw the way the elastic band helps to form the detail of this dress and that effect is even more effective with this kind of velvet fabric you see that right? Oh, I really want to hang out after doing this makeover it's alright I'm gonna do cocktail at home dressing up myself and enjoy them Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel to see more of my fashion stories. 
I know this could be a challenging time for all of us, but please stay calm, focus, and happy home quarantine anyway. Bye bye.